Welcome to Signal and System Playlist. Here in this session, I'll be going to explain unit ramp signal. Now see, in this session, I'll be explaining first basics of unit ramp signal, how we can define it. I'll show you graphical representation of it. And then I'll explain how we can have step signal and impulse signal from unit ramp signal. So what is the relationship of ramp with step, ramp with impulse signal? So this basics that I'll be discussing in this session. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is how we can note unit ramp signal. So it is denoted by R of T in case of continuous time and R of N in case of discrete time. Now, what is the function of it? So, R of T, that is actually T for T greater than or equal to 0 and it will be 0 for T less than 0. So, in continuous time, this is how we can define it. In discrete time, R of N, that will be n and it will be 0 for r of n is equals to n where n is greater than or equal to 0 and for n less than 0 it will be 0. So this is how we can define it in discrete time. Now let us try to draw that first graphically. So see r of t is equals to t means if you compare this with y is equals to mx plus c. So where constant is 0, here constant is 0 for this case, right? And x is what? Time axis. So that is t. And m that is slope. And here we can say slope that is equals to 1. So when you want to plot this with r of t is equals to t, it is unit ramp signal which is having slope that is unity. So when you plot this, it starts from origin as constant is 0 and its slope is 1. So its slope will be 1 as per this. Like time is 1, amplitude is 1. Like we can say it is what? R of t is equals to t. And its value is 0 for t less than 0. So this is what unit ramp signal. And for discrete time, its value will be n in case of n greater than or equal to 0. So here if I say n is 0, here it is 1, here it is 2, here it is 3, here it is 4. Then at 0 it is 0, at 1 it is 1, at 2 it is 2, at 3 it has to be 3, at 4 it has to be 4. So in discrete time, RAM signal will be like this. So this is how unit RAM signal is there. Now, to understand relationship, I'll explain how we can get relationship of RAM signal with step and RAM signal with impulse. So, as if you integrate unit step signal, you'll be finding RAM signal. Like see, integration of step is ramp. Now see how it is coming. Like as if you integrate from minus infinite to infinite u of t where u of t is unity from 0 to infinite or one can say from 0 to t. So from 0 to t it is 1. 
so integration of one that is t and if you place limits you will be finding it is t and this t is what actually r of t it is ram signal so integration of step that is ram now if you differentiate ram in that case you will be getting delta like see if you sorry if you differentiate ramp in that case you will be getting step signal so as if you differentiate like see differentiation of r of t so r of t that is t so dt by dt that will be one only and that is what actually u of t so integration of step signal that will be ram signal and differentiation of ram signal that is step signal and now see if you double differentiate ram signal in that case it will be impulse signal so one should know all those basics which will be helpful to you to solve some problems based on signal and system so integration of step is ram and differentiation of ramp is step signal so this is how relation is there i hope that you have understood this session if you have any query just place that in comments definitely we can have a discussion and whatever topics that you would like to have it based on signal and system just write down in comments if i have understanding based on your need definitely in future i'll make videos based on that and those videos will be helping some other students even thank you so much for watching this video